Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin. This is West Virginia Wesleyan College, and this is TV Broadcasting. And I'm going to show you how to work Premiere to edit your videos to get them ready for the broadcast news. All right, let's begin. So we'll begin by opening up Premiere. First, you'll have to find Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop. And then once that app is open, you can go ahead and open up Premiere. When you open Premiere, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, then you want to check the tabs at the top. And you want to select the first tab, Assembly. And that's where we'll begin. Now, you should have already recorded some A-roll and some B-roll in class. And take that A-roll and B-roll and bring it into the project panel right here. The next thing we're going to want to do is move over now to editing, now that we've assembled all of our footage. So I'm going to move over to editing. And then I'm going to review some of my footage. The most important footage is my A-roll. So you can double click on your A-roll. And then you can preview it up here. You can slide the CTI or you can use your JKL keys, L to move forward, K to stop, and J to move backwards. And then I'm going to find my in and my out, so where I want this clip to begin and end. So I want it to begin right here, so I'm going to go ahead here and click Mark In. And then I'm going to find a pause where she's finished telling her story. My kids and I were in the around it. be surprised on, on Main Street. All right, I'm going to end with Main Street, because that's what we're really talking about here. So I'm going to go ahead then and make that my out. So now I've trimmed my footage to the beginning and to the end, and I can even put some markers too. Like I know there's an important point right about here, and I can put a marker there. Now that I know essentially how I, where my beginning and my ending is, I can drag this footage onto my timeline. So I'm just going to click here and drag it down to here. And as soon as I drag it onto my timeline, a sequence is created. How do you know which one's the sequence? Here's your footage. You see it's got a little movie and audio icon right here. So linked audio and video used. But down here you can see it's got a sequence icon and that's how you know that's your sequence. And that's what we're looking at right here. All right, so now that I've got my footage into my timeline, I want to find those places where I'm going to put my B-roll. So let's go ahead and review the footage. I'm going to hit L to move forward. And one story that I wanted to share is when I moved here in Buckhannon, the Murphy's Five and Dime was still um, operating on Main Street. So there's Main Street. So to illuminate that idea, I think I'm going to drag some footage of Main Street into here. Now, actually, I jumped a, up a step because that's a lot of footage. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go ahead and here review my footage by double clicking on it. And then I'm going to look through this footage and get the best spot shot of the cannon that I can get. That looks like right about here. I'm going to set that as my in, and I'll probably set my out right about there. Okay, now I'm ready to move that footage down here. Now I want to move it on to track two. So here's video track one, and video track one has a synced audio track one. And I want to move that down here to video two. So I'm going to select video two and video one right here. And that way, if I drag this down, it's going to bring it right here into, um, into my Video 2 timeline. And I'm going to line it up right there where I want to start talking about, where she starts talking about Main Street. So let's give that a try. Um, operating on Main Street. And that was a really amazing place for me as a kid. I mean, first of all, I could get there from walking by my house. I, I didn't need to beg my parents for a ride. And they had um, things, really cool things to buy that I could afford to buy. All right, so she's talking about buying. So I've got some footage here with someone buying. I'm going to go ahead and review it again. Find my in and my out. It's all pretty, pretty much the same. So I'm just going to drag the whole clip down here. Start it right there. Now notice this clip was shot 4K, and the A-roll that I'm working with is 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click on this 4K image, and these little anchor points will show up. I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down so it fits into my 1080p size. Okay, so let's play that. Buy that I could afford to buy with my pocket money, um, with my small allowance. And, uh, and I'll just clip it there. We don't need a lot of B-roll for that. She's just talking about buying things. Um, when that store, when the five and dime closed. So right there, closed. I'm going to get my closed footage. So I'm going to drag this right out here. 
Now notice something a little different from the closed footage. It came with audio. So you can see here, it, if I roll over it, it's got video and audio, where this clip only has video, and so does this one. So now, I, sometimes you're going to want to have the audio um, if it's important, if it gives you context. But in this case, it's just going to be some traffic noise, so I want to get rid of it. But right now, I have them linked because of this little button right here. So if I click on one track, the video track, the audio track will stay synced with it. Most often, this is what we want. But I'm going to uncheck that so, and deselect, and then I can select just the audio and then hit delete. Now notice also it's large, it's shot in 4K as well, so I'll double click again. And I'm going to make it smaller now to fit with my 1080p sequence. All right, let's play that through. The five and dime closed. I just, I remember feeling um, this, this real sense of loss and, and of, um, a, f a fear, right? Because. All right, and that's probably all that we'll need for that. So now we're ready to put on some, some dissolves, I think. We're pretty much, our video is ready to go. And, oh, no, let's, let's put on some, yeah, let's put on some dissolves. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to effects. All right, here's my effects panel. And I'm going to look for video transitions and dissolve. So if I want to do a cross dissolve, like if I wanted to, let's say, fade into one of these sequences, so let's say when she talks about Buchanan, I can drag a little cross dissolve into the front of that clip right here. And now let's watch how that plays out. Was still um, operating on Main Street. And that was a really amazing place. A little more gradual, a little more dramatic. Now let's say at the end of the clip, we want to fade to black. And so we'll go dip to black right here. I'll drag it to the end. And then we get to the end of the clip. Be surprised on, on Main Street. And then we fade to black. So now we're almost ready. There's one final feature, though, we need to add, and that's some titles. So to do that, we're going to go up here to what's called graphics. OK, now there's template graphics that are all ready to go. Like here is a basic lower third. So why don't we go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to click this and drag it on to video track three. All right, and then you can see it's all ready to go. Now what I'm going to do, though, is where the position of this lower third needs a little more contrast. I don't like it that it's right on that line. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up either up here or down here. I think up here is probably going to be a little bit better. You want to keep it in the lower third, but again, there's some distracting elements there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And then you just double click to start typing. Click off and then double click. And I'm going to call or name this interviewee. And we can give her her title. And there you have it. Now, if you want to make any more edits, like change the font or whatnot, then you'll come over to here to edit. And mine is already automatically set up there. And so here you can select the typeface and I can change the typeface from Myriad Pro to whatever I like. Let's just say, I don't know why I would want to choose Onyx. Let's say I want to go with something a little bit cleaner, um, like Avenir. And I could say Avenir Bold or black. And here I can change the color. Just double click on fill and I can make it red. I don't think you'd want to do that, but just so you can show you how to do that. And remember you can hit undo by going edit undo. And we'll keep that white. All right, and so that is essentially what we have. We could also fade that in though. We could have it pop in or we could do a cross dissolve. We could go back to editing. Or I'm part of me effects. And then we can do a cross dissolve right in front of the text. And now it'll fade in. The Murphy's five and dime was still. And there you have it. Now we're ready to export. So to export, it's important that you select your sequence from your program panel or your project panel. So we're going to go back to editing. 
So remember, here we have each of our footage. It tells us if it's just video or audio and video. And here's some footage with audio and video or A roll. And, but here it tells us this is our sequence. And what I could do is give it a much better name. So I'm going to right click on it and um, say rename. And we'll call this um, the Canon interview. All right, so then I'm going to select that sequence and that now I'm ready to export. So I'll simply say file, export media. Then we'll see this window. Very important, first is the format. So H.264, not H.264 Blu-ray, just H.264, is a codec that creates an MP4, as you can see here. The next, we'll say match source, we'll keep it at that, and then we're going to click on this to make sure we are saving it in an appropriate place. So here is the folder that I want to save it to. Actually, that's not the right folder. This is where I want it to go. I'm going to hit save, and then finally I'll just hit export. And then once that's done, I have my Buchanan interview video right here that's all ready to go. And now that video is ready to upload into the rack and play on the nightly news. All right, so good luck.